Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is Mototech. Today, I've just received this SenseCap M4 Square Flux Plug and Play Node. I haven't opened this box yet, so let's open this box together and then go through the setup process together. Then I'm going to do a review on this product. Hopefully, this will give you some expectations and at the same time, Maybe we can bring the product team some ideas for future improvements. And if you're new to your channel, I cover blockchain, Web3, and cybersecurity. If you're interested, subscribe and like my videos. You can also follow me on Twitter and join our Discord. All right, without further ado, let's open this box. All right, it doesn't seem like there's any complicated boxing. We just simply lift this up. By the way, there is also a instruction on the back. Nothing in detail. It just basically points you to a website. We do have another instruction book. This looks like it does have a little bit more details. Who needs instructions, right? Let's go straight to the product. All right, looks like this is our SenseCap M4 plug and play Flux node. I'm not going through the specifications. We already went through that in the previous video. So we do have, this looks like some power cables. It appears to me that there isn't a ethernet cable. I'm not sure if I need to provide my own ethernet cable or this process can be done through Wi-Fi. We're about to find out. It seems like a step one is a pretty specific instruction. You power it on and you need to plug an ethernet cable into the ethernet two port, which is the port that's closest to your HDMI port away from your power cord. So once our device is plugged in, we do see there is a green light. At the same time, we see a blue light coming on next to our power cable. Also, we have the ethernet blinking knowing that the data is flowing. Next step, it wants us to download the SenseCap app. So make sure you use the QR code provided. There are a couple of SenseCap apps in the app center. So the next thing it wants us to do is to pop the lid open. You'll see this tiny silver button here. All you gotta do is push it and this will lift the magnetic lid open. On this board with a green and orange light running right now, there are two buttons right next to it. So the one closer to the edge of the case would be B2 button and the one further away from the edge of the case would be B1 button. It want us to push the B1 button for five seconds until the L2 indicator flash blue to turn on Bluetooth configuration mode. So we're going to hit this button for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right, the blue light is on. Now it wants us to go back to the SenseCap app. All right, guys, I actually had to stop recording and wait for a day for the SenseCap app to update in the iOS app store. Previously, it did not support the SenseCap M4 Flux node onboarding. So now with the update, we're going to try again. As you can see right now on the SenseCap app, we have Flux and Helium. So we're going to click into Flux and click Setup. And it also goes through the instructions. We already powered up our device. Again, it requires you to connect through ethernet and make sure to connect to the port next to the HDMI port. We already enabled our Bluetooth. So now it says one node found. We're going to click into this node. It seems pretty straightforward. It sees the SM Mac address and CPU usage, RAM and storage. Next, we're going to click install. And once it's done, we have the option to open up the Flux app. And it will tell you the current app version, installation time, and the size of the app. From here, you will need some information from your Zellcore wallet. You will need the identity key. Simply click on the app, it will copy the key and paste back into the SenseCap application. Then you will need to find the collateral transaction ID. Again, simply click on the collateral transaction ID. It will copy to your clipboard. Going back to the SenseCap app, you can now paste the collateral transaction ID. The last thing you need to put in is the output index. Go back to Zellcore wallet, go to your application and check out your node. Most people should see a zero for output index. Simply go back to SenseCap app and input zero. Now we can click next. It needs your Zell ID. We can see on the bottom right, there is a get info from Zellcore. You can actually click on that link, which brings you to the Zellcore app. Under Zellcore apps, 
Look for Zell ID. Touch the screen on the Zell ID and it will copy to your clipboard. Go back to SenseCap app and paste that Zell ID. Click next. It also asks you to provide Cardina address. Go ahead and check this radio button. Go back to your Zell Core wallet. Simply copy your Cardina address to your clipboard and paste in the SenseCap app. Click next. We'll see the basic setting. I'm not interested in seeing alert notification, so I'm going to skip. Once again, it will ask you to confirm your identity key collateral transaction ID, output index, and your Zelle ID. If everything's right, you can click start deploy. And now we wait. All right, guys, with our gigabit fiber, it took us about 10 minutes to finish our blockchain snapshot. Actually, we're almost done, 2% away. Here we go, 100%. So next step, we will have to initialize the blocks. While we're waiting for the blocks to be initialized, we're going to enable UPnP on our router because currently there are multiple nodes on my network. For me, initializing block took about five minutes and then it went to sync and start. It also shows my public IP. After sync and start, it will say Flux node is not started. We will now go back to the Zellcrow app. We will go to our Flux node configuration and we can choose a name. We'll call this SenseCap M4. And we'll put our IP address in there and click save. Now let's start our SenseCap M4 node by clicking start. It says it may take anywhere between 2 to 20 minutes, depending on how long it takes for the block to be mined by the miners. Now we gotta wait again. Let's come back to the SenseCap M4 app. We do see at the bottom it says more. Let's take a look. Here it shows the tier of your node, running status, and when we click the setting button, it gives us option to add to dashboard, restore block, modify public IP, redeploy, or delete. After refreshing and restarting the app, it seems like it's noticing our tier is cumulus node, and it tells you the running status is started. At the bottom, it does say UPnP status is on, and it tells you what port your Flux node is using. Okay, we have successfully deployed our SenseCap M4 Flux node. What do I think about it? It is truly plug and play, especially you can do everything from your phone. The application itself is amazing. It gives you almost all the information you need. Even with this SenseCap M4 plug and play Flux node, you still have to either buy or provide your own 1000 Flux as collateral to deploy this node. With this plug and play node, Basically, SenseCap is managing everything for you over the air update. The trade-off is that you won't be able to log into your nodes OS like how we can normally log into our DIY nodes. I understand that SenseCap is doing this to provide their own intellectual property. Most people probably don't even care because most people probably don't understand what SSH is, how to remote into a Linux host. But for some more technical people, this may feel a little bit strange. You basically don't have to do anything to your node. It's a trade-off. So overall, I think this is definitely a big milestone for Flux. In the future, we can expect that more people to be able to deploy Flux nodes from their home. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. You can also follow me on Twitter or join our Discord to ask questions. All right, guys, this is it for today. I am Modal Tech. Thank you very much. I will see you next time.